Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a dropshipping website with WordPress. Let's say you want to start a dropshipping business where you can sell products from other manufacturers or sellers instead of your own products. You can do that by watching this video. So after watching this video, you will be able to create a dropshipping website like this where you can display your products on your site and your customers will be able to purchase those products. Now instead of selling your own products, we'll see how you can get products from other sellers who are already selling their products. And once we get their products, we'll see how you can sell them on your site for a higher price. So for example, let's say you get a product from a seller for $10. Now you can sell the same product for $12 on your site. So the extra amount will be a profit for you. So anyone who's visiting your site will be able to purchase this product. And once the customer purchases the product, we will be able to receive the email with the order details like this. And once you receive an order, instead of delivering the product by yourself, we will see how you can pass this order to the supplier who sells the product and pay them the actual amount they charge for the product. So now the seller will deliver the product to your customer and you can keep the extra amount that you charge for the product as a profit for making the sale. This means you don't need to keep any products in stock as you are not delivering the products to your customers. Next, we will also see how you can notify your customers about the tracking details of the orders. And then finally, we will see how you can customize your site to any style you want just by using drag and drop. So this way, you can start your own dropshipping site with less investment and get profits for each sale. Okay, now this video is not sponsored, but it is supported by those of you who have purchased our courses and are super fast web hosting on Webspace Kit. You can learn more about these by clicking the links in the description and get a 40% off coupon. So I'm Brian for Website Learners and let's start creating a dropshipping website using WordPress. Now if you want to start a dropshipping business in India, you can watch this video. So to create a dropshipping site, we are going to do 5 parts. The first part is to pick a topic for your website. Now choosing a topic is very important for your dropshipping site as it helps your site to stand out. Let's say you're selling mobile phone accessories on your site. And when someone views your product and purchases it, they will know you're selling accessories for mobile phones and for other gadgets. This will help your customers to remember your site easily and encourage your customers to return to your site. And they might also recommend your site to other people. So it is recommended to have a specific topic for your website instead of selling random products. Now if you're selling different products on your site, it becomes harder to keep track of all the products that you're selling and to check the quality of the products. This also makes your site less trustworthy. So pick a niche for your site and sell only the products that are related to it. So to make it easier for you to choose a topic for your website, we've made a list of popular topics for you. So just click the link below this video and it'll take you to this page. Now to see the list of sample topics, just scroll down and click here. And you can see we have a lot of different topics which you can choose from. So for this video, I'm going to choose this one as my topic, which is bags. Once you've selected your website's topic, we can now go to part two of this tutorial, which is to find the products that you want to sell. Now I'm going to drop ship the products from a website called AliExpress. If you're from India, you can watch this video as AliExpress is not available in India. So to find the products, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to create an account on AliExpress. So to create it, let's close this, open this, then click the first tool, which is AliExpress. And it'll take you to this page. Here, fill up these details and click create account. So now we have successfully created our account on AliExpress. Once you have created your account, we can now go to step two, which is to find products related to your topic. So to find the products, let's click here. Now here, search for the topic you have selected. I'm going to search for office bags. And you can see we have got different types of office bags. Now here you can select from which country you want to ship the products. I want to ship my products from Spain. So let's click here and select Spain. In the same way, you can select any country from where you want to ship the products. Next here, you can select the country to where you want to sell the products. Now I want to sell the products in the US. So I'm going to let it as United States. Once you have done this, you will get a list of products that are shipped from Spain to United States. This way, you can make sure to get only the products that can be shipped to the place you are planning to sell. Next, we need to find good products that can be sold on our site. So to find the good product, we need to check a few details about the product. So first, just scroll down. 
and look for the product that has high sales performance. As you can see here, this product has top rated sales performance. So let's click analyze. And you can see this product has excellent logistics. Once you have checked this, next we need to check the product details and the customer reviews. So let's go back here. Click on the product. Now here, take a look at the product and the product description. And then check the customer reviews. As you can see, the customer review looks good. Once you're satisfied with the product, next we need to check the seller's review. As the supplier is the one who will be shipping the products directly to our customers, we need to find the best seller for us. So this is the last and important thing that we need to check. As you can see here, the seller's review is good. So once you have checked all the details and if you're satisfied with the product and willing to sell it, just click here to add the product to your wish list. In the same way, check as many products as you want to sell and add them to your wish list. So now you know how to find products that you want to sell. Once you have got the list of products which you want to sell, how will you sell these products? Or where will you sell these products? So to sell these products, we need to create a dropshipping site. So next, let's go to part 3 of this tutorial, which is to launch a dropshipping website on the internet. Once you launch your website, your site will be live on the internet and can be accessed by anyone. Now we are going to launch a site using Webspace Kit. Webspace Kit is a super fast WordPress hosting designed by website learners. But why choose Webspace Kit over other providers? We purchase hosting from every popular hosting provider on the market right now and hosted the same website on each host. After testing each of these websites, we could see that WSK had the fastest load time compared to all the other hosting providers. And this provides SEO benefits as well, so that your website will have better chance of ranking on Google. You can see the full comparison video here. And that's why we recommend WSK. So to launch our site, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to pick a name for your website. This will be the domain name of your website, which people will have to enter to visit your site. For example, if you want to visit YouTube, you go to youtube.com and google.com to visit Google. So similarly, to choose your own domain name, let's go back here. Now close this and click here and then click get hosting. Now just enter the name you want for your website here. Now you can choose any name based on the topic that you've selected. As I've selected my topic as bags, I'm going to enter buyyourbags.com, then click search. And now as you can see, the name is available. Now to get this domain name and hosting, click get hosting and click add to cart. Then click continue. Now here it'll ask us to choose our hosting plan. And as you can see here, hosting provides the space to store your website on the internet. So based on the number of websites that you want to build, you can choose a plan here. I want to build one website. So I'm going to choose this plan. Now here you can choose how long you want the hosting for. You can choose any length here. As you go longer, you can see that we're getting a discount. But I'm going to leave it at 12 months and click continue. Now here you can see that we're getting our domain which is buyyourbags.com for free and our hosting. Now both of these are valid for one year, which means once we complete this purchase, our site will be live on the internet for one year. After which you can renew it to keep using your site online as long as you want. So to get our domain and hosting, let's fill up these details. Now here, select your payment method, enter your details and click order now. Okay, so now we've successfully placed the order and we've got our domain and hosting. So now if we click here, you can see that we have successfully got the hosting and domain. Okay, so once you've got your domain and hosting, your website should now be live on the internet. To check that, let's open a new tab. Now if we type buyyourbags.com and press enter, you can see that we have a brand new website on the name that we selected. Now sometimes it might take a few minutes for your site to become active on the internet. So if you're not seeing this page, try refreshing it after 5 to 10 minutes and you should see it. Okay, so now we have successfully launched our website on the internet. Now as you can see, this is the default look of our website. So next, 
we're going to see how you can change the design of your website and make it look more attractive like this. We can do that in the part 4 of this tutorial which is to change the design of our site. So to change the design of the site, we are going to do 4 steps. The first step is to log into your website. By logging into your site, you will be able to make any changes that you want to this website. So to log into your website, all you have to do is go here, type slash wp-admin after your site's address. Now if you press enter, you can see that it takes us to the login page of our website. So to log in, you need to enter the username and password which you have received in your email. So to get the username and password, let's go to our inbox. And here you can see the email from our hosting provider which has the details of our website. So if we open it, here you can see the login details of our website. So first let's copy the username and paste it here. Then copy the password and paste it here. Okay, so now if we click login, you can see that we have successfully logged into our website and we have now reached our WordPress dashboard. Now this is the place where you can control your website and make any changes that you want to do to it. Okay, so once you've logged in, we can now go to step 2 of changing the design which is to install a theme for your WordPress site. So we are going to install a theme called Astra. Now this is the theme which is going to help us build our site. So to install the theme, let's go to appearance and click themes and then click add new. Now search for a theme called Astra and you will get this theme. So to install it, just click install and click activate. So once you've installed the theme, we can now go to step 3 which is to choose a design for your site. Now instead of building your site from scratch, we are going to import a pre-made design and then edit it to make it our own. So to choose the design, let's click get started and it will take you to this page. Now scroll down and click build your website now. Now it will ask you to choose a page builder. These are the tools which will help you edit your design. Now we recommend you to choose Elementor which makes it easy to edit your website pages in the future. So let's select that and now you can see all the designs which can be applied to your site. As we want to create a dropshipping site, let's click here and you will get the designs for the e-commerce sites. So have a look at these designs and select the one you want. I am going to choose this one. Now here you can see the preview of what the design looks like. And here you can see that we have an option to change our logo. Now if you want to change this logo, just click here. Then drag your logo and drop it here. As you can see, the logo has been changed. Now you can just adjust the size of this logo just by dragging the slider like this and the logo size will be changed. Once you have changed the logo, click continue. Now here you can see that we have different options to change the color and the font of our site. You can choose the one you want. I am going to keep this default color and font. Click continue. Then you will get this box. Now click submit and your site will be ready. And it's done. So if we go back to our local site, you can see that this is how our site was before. Now if we click refresh, you can see that we have got the exact design which we selected and the changes have been applied to our design which we just made. And you can also see your web pages which has the simple content and products in it. Okay. Now if we go to all products and open this demo content, you can see that our pricing is in euros but I want it in dollars. So let's go to the final step which is to change the currency. Now to change it, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to WooCommerce and click settings. Then scroll down. Now click here and select US dollars. And finally click save changes. Now if we go back to our site, and click refresh, you can see that our pricing has been changed to dollars. 
Okay, so now we have successfully completed designing our site. But we haven't added products to our site. So next, let's go to the final part of this tutorial, which is to add the products to our site. Now to add the products to our site, we are going to do four steps. The first step is to delete the demo products that you have imported along with your design. So to delete it, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Now go to products and click all products and it will take you to this page. Now just click here to select all the demo products. Then click here and click move to trash. Now click apply and you can see that we have deleted all the demo products. Now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that all the demo products have been deleted. Once you have deleted your demo products, we can now go to step 2 which is to install the AliExpress plugin. So to install the plugin, just go back to this page. Let's close this. Now click here. Then click here. And it will take you to this page. This is the plugin which will help us add the products to our site from AliExpress. So let's click Add to Cart and click go to checkout. Now it will ask you to create an account. Now if you already have one, just click sign in. If you don't have an account, just enter your name and email address. And here, enter the username and password you want. And finally, click create account and continue. Next, just fill up these details. And click save and continue. Now finally select a payment method. Then enter your card details. And click pay securely. So now we have successfully purchased the plugin. Now to install the plugin, just click download. As you can see, our plugin has been downloaded. So let's open it. Now just right click on it and click extract all and click extract and you can see that our files have been extracted. Now let's open it and open this folder. Now this is the plugin which we need to install. So to install it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and click add new. Then click Upload Plugin. Now drag the plugin and drop it here. Next, click Install Now. And then click Activate. Here, click Skip. And now we have successfully installed the plugin. Now to start using the plugin, we need to activate it. So to activate it, just click activate. Now here you need to enter the key which you have received in your email. So to get the key, let's go to our inbox. Open it. And here you can see that we have got the key. Let's copy it. And paste it here. Then click get key and click approve. So now our plugin has been activated. Once you have got the plugin, we need to connect our site with the AliExpress plugin. So next, let's go to step 3 which is to connect our site with the AliExpress plugin. Now to connect our site with the plugin, we need to install an extension. So to install it, go to general. Now click here and it will take you to this page. Now this is the extension which will help us to connect our site with the AliExpress plugin. So let's click add to Chrome and click add extension. So now we have successfully installed the extension. Let's go to AliExpress. Now to connect our site with the extension, just click here and here enter your domain name. 
then click need authenticating now here click approve so now we have successfully connected our site with the aliexpress account and here you can select from which company you want to ship products i am going to select any and here you can select from where you want to ship your products i am going to select united states and click save so extension is active once you have connected your site with the plugin we can start adding products to our site so to add the products to our site let's go to the wish list and just open a product as you can see we now have a new option here from the extension we installed so to import this product to our site just click import and you can see the product has been imported in the same way let's add one more product just go back here let's open this then click import and as you can see this product has been imported now if we go to our wordpress dashboard and go to the import list on the plugin that we have installed you can see we have got both the products which we have imported now you can change the product details like the product price description and images you can change them from here so just go to description and here you can edit the description of the product and if you go to variations you can see the different types of bags that were present on aliexpress site along with this product and if you go to gallery you can find the picture of the product okay so now we have successfully imported the products to our site once you have imported the products next we need to display the products on our site now before displaying the product we need to change the pricing of the product with our profit margin now setting a profit margin is very important as it is the source of our profit so to set the profit margin for our product let's go to variations now if you are planning to sell products in different regions and want to use different currency other than the imported product currency you need to enable exchange rate to properly convert the pricing of the product to your currency so to change it let's go to drop ship and fulfill go to product price and you can see the exchange rate of the currency here now just enable this option so now the product pricing will automatically be converted into our currency okay now by default the prices of these products will be the same as the one on aliexpress so here you need to enter the sale price in which you want to sell on your website we are going to increase the price by 1% so the percentage which you enter here is a profit that you will receive for the product and when a customer makes the purchase the default price will be given to aliexpress and you can take the percentage you set here now for each niche there is a profit margin by which you can increase the pricing of the product so to find the percentage we can just search on google let's open a new tab now as i want to sell bags on my site i am going to search for bags profit margin and you can see that it is 20 to 35 percentage similarly you can search for products you have selected to sell once you have got the profit margin of your niche let's go back here just select here and you can use any of these options to increase the amount i am going to use increase by percentage option and here you need to enter the percentage i am going to enter 20 percentage and if you want to give a discount on your product you can enter it here i am going to enter 5% once you have done this click save settings and your pricing will be updated now make sure you update the profit margin of the products before displaying them on your site if you want to change the pricing of the product after displaying on your site you need to delete the product and then import it again from aliexpress okay so once you have updated the pricing now if we go back to the pricing page you can see that the pricing has been updated with our profit margin okay once you have updated the price of your products you can now add the products to your site so to add it just click here and click import all and click okay so now our products will be displayed on our site to check it let's go back to our site click refresh and you can see that we have got the products which we wanted to sell now if we open this and click here 
you can see that we have got all the variations of the product along with the pricing we set for the product. And you can see all the details of the product below. So this is how you can add the products from the AliExpress site. Now let's say a visitor wants to purchase this product and clicks add to cart and then clicks view cart. Now if they click proceed to checkout, you can see that the payment option is not available. So in order to allow your customers to pay for the products, you need to set up the payment method. So next, let's see how you can add a payment gateway to your site. Now to add a payment gateway, we are going to use Stripe. Now Stripe is the website that is going to help us add a payment gateway to our site. So to add a payment method, we need to create an account in Stripe. Once you create this account, you will be able to receive payments directly to your bank account when someone purchases a product. So to create your Stripe account, let's go back here. Just close this. Now open this. And then click here. Now this will take you to the Stripe website. Now to create your account, just click start now and fill up these details. Then click create account. So now we have successfully created our Stripe account. Once you've created your Stripe account, now in order to receive payments using this account, you need to first activate the account. So to activate it, let's click get started and then fill up these details. Now click continue and here you need to enter your bank details where you want to receive your payments. So just enter your bank details and now when someone buys a product from your site, the money will be sent to this account. So once you've entered these details, just click submit. And now we have successfully activated our Stripe account. Once you've created your Stripe account, to let customers make payments on your site, you need to connect this account with your website. So to connect it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to plugins, click add new. And now we need to install the Stripe plugin on our website. So just search for Stripe for WooCommerce. And you will get this plugin. Now to install it, just click install and click activate. So now we have installed the Stripe plugin in our website. So let's click settings. Now to connect to this account with our website, just click here and it will take you to this page. Just make sure your account is selected, then click connect and this type account will be connected to your website. So this means our payment setup is now complete. Okay, so now we successfully set up our payment method and now your customers can not only view your products, but they can also buy them. So now if we go back to our site and click refresh, you can see that we have now got our payment method. So let's fill up these details and then enter our card details and click place order. You can see that the payment has been made and we have successfully ordered the product. This means our dropshipping website is now ready and fully functional and the visitors can now purchase the products from your site. Now what happens when someone orders your product? How do you know that they've got an order? Now as soon as someone orders a product from your site, if you go to your inbox, you can see that we received two emails. The first one is from our WordPress website and the second one is from Stripe. So if you open the first email from WordPress, you can see that we have got the details about the order. So we have the name of the product which the customer has ordered and their address. Now if we go back and open the second email, you can see that Stripe confirms that we have received our payment. So this is how you can know when someone orders a product. So now you know how you can track new orders placed on your site. But what about your customer? How can they view their order? So next, let's see how your customer can view their order after making a purchase. Now once a customer has ordered the product from your site, the account will be automatically created. And now if the customer goes to their inbox, you can see that they have received an email. Let's open it. And you can see the details of the order here. Now if they go back here, click account and click my account, you can see that the customer can view all the orders they have placed on your site. 
And now if we go to addresses, they can even update the address. So this is how your customers can view their orders on your site. Now how do you process the order and have the product delivered to your customer? So next, let's see how you can manage the orders and deliver the products to your customers. Now once the order has been placed on your website, we need to place the order on AliExpress site and make the seller deliver the product to our customer. So to do that, let's go to our WordPress dashboard, then go to Dropship, click All Orders and here you can see all the orders that have been placed on your site. Now to place this order on AliExpress, we are going to use this extension. So just click Order with Extension. Now the extension will directly take you to the checkout page for the product that the customer has ordered. And as you can see, the customer details are automatically filed here including the shipping address. Now all you need to do is select the payment method, then place the order and the order will be delivered to the customer by the seller. So let's click here and you will get these two options. You can pay using your card or if you have a PayPal account, you can use this option. I am going to select this card option, then enter my card details and click save and confirm. Once you have done that, click pay now and you can see that we have successfully made the payment and the order will be delivered to the customer from the seller. Now if we go to our inbox, you can see that we have got an email from AliExpress. Let's open it. And you can see that our payment is successful and the order has been placed. Now to check the order status, just click here. And here, you can see that our order is being processed by the seller. As you can see here, if the seller fails to ship the product within this time, the order will automatically be cancelled. So if you want to extend the time, now if we go back here and click refresh, you can see that the order status is completed. Once the product has been shipped by the seller, you will get an email with the tracking details. So now you know how to track the order. But how will your customer know about the order status? So next, let's see how your customers can track the orders. Now once the product has been shipped, we will get the tracking details. So to share it, let's go to our inbox. And you can see that we have got an email. Let's open it. Click track my order and you can see that our order has been shipped. Now to see the delivery details, just click view all and you can see the delivery status of the product. Now to share this tracking details with the customer, just click here, copy the link address, let's go back to our WordPress dashboard, go to WooCommerce and click orders. Now open the order to which you want to share the tracking details and it will take you to this page. Just scroll down. Now here you can share the tracking details. So first, let's add our message here. And then paste the link for tracking with the message. Once you have done that, just click here and select the note to customer. Now as soon as you click add, the tracking details will be sent to the customer's email. And here you can see the details of the note you have sent. So now if the customer goes to the inbox, you can see that they have received an email. Let's open it. And now if they click this link, it will take them to this page where they can track their order. So this is how your customers can track their orders. Okay, now let's say you have got multiple orders on your site. How will you manage all the orders at the same time? So next, let's see how you can process bulk orders. Now if we go to our WordPress dashboard, Go to Dropship and click All Orders. You can see that we have received multiple orders. Now to order all these products in AliExpress at once, just click Get Access Token. Again click Get Access Token. Now just scroll down and click Authorize. And you can see that we've got the token. Once you have done this, click Save Settings. Now if we go back to our orders page, you can see that the bulk order option is available. So let's select it, click bulk place orders and you can see all the orders that have been selected. Now if you want to change the shipping company for any other order, just click here and select the shipping method you want. I am going to let it as 
AliExpress standard shipping. Then click place and click make payment. Now it will automatically load the details of the order along with the shipping address. Once it's done, click here to select all the products and click here to make the payment for all the orders at the same time. Now like we did before, just select your payment method, fill up these details and then click pay now. As you can see, the payment is successful. Okay, now let's say you're selling more than one product type on your site. How can you change the pricing for this product? So now, let's see how you can set the pricing for other niches. Now I'm also going to sell a perfume on my site. So to set the pricing for it, let's go to our WordPress dashboard. Go to dropshipping and fulfill. Click import list. Now if you see here, the pricing that we have set for our bags have been applied to this product also. So to change it, let's go to dropship and fulfill. Click product price. Scroll down. Now set the profit margin only for the perfumes. We need to set the price range for that niche here. So only the products that cost in this range will have this profit margin. So to set the product price range, click add price range. Now here, enter the price range of the niche. I'm going to enter 10 to 30 dollars as the perfumes which I want to add costs in this range. So now only the products that cost between this price range will follow different profit margins that we are going to set here. And now to get the profit margin for our perfume, we can search in Google like we did before. So let's open a new tab. Search for profit margins for perfume. And you can see it is around 90%. So let's go back here. Enter our profit margin. I'm going to enter 50%. This means we are going to sell our perfumes for 50% higher. And if someone purchases this product, we will get a profit around 50%. Now here you can give a discount for this product if you want. This will encourage your visitors to purchase the product. I'm going to enter a discount of 25%. So now the total profit of selling product will be 25%. Once you have done this, click save settings and the pricing will be updated. So now if we go back here, you can see that we have a new pricing. So this is how you can set a profit margin for different niches. Okay, now if we go to our site, you can see that we still have the default content on our site. So next, let's see how you can edit the content on your website. Now to edit any content on your site, just go to that page, click edit with Elementor and it will take you to this editing section. Now let's say you want to change this text. All you have to do is just select the text and then enter your own text. I'm going to enter bags for all locations. As you can see, the text has been changed. In the same way, you can change any text you want on this page. Okay, now let's say you want to change this image. All you have to do is just click on the image, then click choose image and then drag and drop the image on your computer. As you can see, the image has been changed. Now in the same way, you can change any image you want. Once you're done with all the changes, to save your changes, just click update. And if we go to our site and click refresh, you can see that all the changes have been applied. Now in the same way, you can edit any page you want. Just go to that page, Click edit with Elementor and then you can start editing your content. Okay, next, let's say you want to edit this menu section. So edit it, just click customize. Here click the blue pencil icon and then here you can edit the menu section. So now you know how to edit the contents of your site. Okay, so that's it guys. This is how you can create your own dropshipping website using WordPress. Now if you want to know how to create a dropshipping website using Shopify, you can check out this video. And make sure you subscribe to Website Learners to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.